Horses away, please. Wade in, wait in. And the second race in the card this afternoon is the book tickets online at weatherbyracing.co.uk handicap steeplechase. Over two miles, four and a half furlongs for five-year-olds and upwards. Non-runner number one, Toulouse Express. That's number one as a non-runner. Leaves nine runners. Start time is 2.55. And there's a jockey change for number nine, Ginger's Lad, is ridden by Brian Hughes. The jockey number nine, Brian Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, annual family Sunday meeting here at Weatherby has uh, begun with a race for maiden hurdlers, the title of which draws attention to the uh, National Festival Circus. It's here today in the course enclosure. Two more performances at 5 past 3 and 4.15, free of charge. Well, uh, time to deploy is the first winner today on the opening day of the new British jumping season. Uh, trained in Ireland by Michael Hurrigan and ridden by... Uh, Adrian Heskin, who celebrated his 18th birthday on Thursday and, of course, recorded the biggest win of his career yesterday when partnering uh, Church Islands of Victory in the big race at Sandown Park, the Bet365 Gold Cup. And Adrian is here to receive the prize on behalf of the winning connections, presented by Mr. John Sanderson, the chairman of Weatherby Racecourse. So many congratulations, well done. His first ride at Weatherby, and it's a winning one. Call for S.G. Wolf, the trainer, always representative. Would you please come to the weighing room? So final preparations being made out on course for our running of the 2010 Mascot Gold Cup. And we've got a fantastic starter as well, courtesy of uh, Bob Champion. It'll be more of Bob a little bit later on in the afternoon. And they're off and racing. And uh, one of the first, Cliff the Castle, is uh, showing up prominently. Also, one of the horses is uh, making a pretty bold fist of things. Could be Amy Winehorse over the first. Now, some of the others walk on Noodlebox, who I thought had a 14 seconds handicap. May have gone a bit early there as they make their way down towards the uh, third last. Amy Winehorse and walk on Noodlebox. Walk on Noodlebox is a previous winner. Yorkshire Tea Biscuits running on with Cliff. Cliff Castle, but it's walk on noodle box. So there may be an inquiry as to whether he jumped his official handicap start, but he's going to be over the line first. Walk on noodle box. A few hound dogs coming as a faller. Yorkshire Tea Biscuit Spuds missed out the fences. Ah, oh, chaos in fourth place. Could have been Sheepy the Panda. Also running on was a media squirrel. Darth is only just over the line. Uh, the winemaker's next. He's going to improve with age. Cliff Castle was next over the line. Goofy midfield for uh, Mustard. Um, and then Lammy over there with Beefy, one of the sausages, another of the squirrels, and the faller at the last is up. Amy Winehorse needs rehab for the jumping. Yes, yes, yes. And there's a wait notice in the second race for number seven. Number seven, nine stone eight carries nine stone ten. That's number seven, nine eight carries nine ten. Give a big round of applause for many of those that have raised a massive amount of money today for uh, Sue Ryder Care. Some of them still... <laughs> Detective Ducks finally got his man, one of the sausages, and he's, <laughs> he's making his way over the second last.